Hi friends, hello and welcome to another video. In today's clip, I want to talk about the United States government deeply troubling and concerning unfair treatment of Chinese students at Washington Dulles International Airport. Reports of interrogation, harassment and repatriation for no apparent reason are coming to light in the latest days. And it doesn't stop there. Visas are being cancelled, electronic devices are being inspected and communication is being restricted. This is not just a case of inconvenience. Chinese students are experiencing psychological harm and their legitimate rights and interests are being seriously impaired. This is completely contrary to the consensus that was reached in San Francisco between the two heads of the state. The, cre the frequency with which Chinese students are being interrogated and repatriated without reason is alarming to the point that the Chinese embassy in the United States has lodged a solemn representation with the U.S. government urging them to stop these wrong practices. To the point that Ambassador Xie Feng has demanded the U.S. to immediately cease this practice, this unreasonable interrogation and harassment of Chinese students flying into the country. And uh, this doesn't just take place at the airport. We all remember that Florida not long ago enacted a law that prohibits Chinese students from working in public universities and laboratories. And Chinese students and other travelers continue being denied entry into the United States at different ports of entry, despite holding legal and valid visas and having no criminal record. So that needs to be addressed. The Chinese side has made clear its stern position of a strong opposition to the U.S. side and will continue to firmly safeguard the legitimate and lawful rights and interests of Chinese citizens traveling abroad. The politicization and instrumentalization of educational exchanges and cooperation will not only block the road of foreign students to, to study and change their life, but it will also lead to the brain drain of the United States and endanger its own scientific research environment and innovation vitality, as is shown by the amount of scientists relocating to China. It is not surprising that fewer students are choosing the U.S. to study and do research. The data from the Institute of International Education uh, shows a significant decrease in the number of Chinese students that are choosing the U.S. to study. In the 2021 academic year, there was a 14.8 decline in Chinese international student enrollment in American universities. There were a total of 290,086 students. This decline continued in the following year with an additional decrease of 8.6%. However, yes, it is clear that there are other factors that may have contributed to this decrease, basically the pandemic, but um, there were not only uh, these travel restrictions and health concerns, but also Trump's administration hostile political rhetoric and a tougher visa scrutiny. Additionally, the rise in anti-Asian racist attacks may have deterred some Chinese families from sending their children to study in the USA. The decline in Chinese student enrollment has had definitely a financial impact on U.S. universities since Chinese students typically pay a higher fee for being out-of-state students. This has led some institutions to focus on diversifying their international student population to try and mitigate the impact of the decline in the number of Chinese students choosing America to study. All the data that I'm talking about can be found uh, in their annual report called Open Doors. We must remember that the vitality of ideas comes from mutual learning and, and the development of science is inseparable from academic exchanges. If normal personnel exchanges are artificially cut off, how can the relations between the two major countries be maintained and let alone developed? Impossible. So let us hope that the U.S will listen to reason and change its unjust and damaging practices towards Chinese students. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again. Take it easy. Remember that if you want to support, support the work that I do, you can click the link in the description down below to buy me a cup of coffee or simply like, comment, and share. Until I see you again, take it easy, and bye for now.